welcome back to the channel and today we're working on an 8532 carver let's check out the condition of the fiberglass right now guys so i don't know if you could tell from the video but this boat it needs oxidation removal it's very cloudy very hazy it has like almost a dull shine to it right it looks shiny but it needs some work you can't see yourself straight on if i can get a closer view guys see it it's just very you know very dull so we're going to be going through compounding polishing waxing and on the brow it even needs more work so guys let me show you the brow right now Okay, so we're at the brow of the boat. Now check this out. As I rub my hands through, you can just see it's very, you know, very dull, very oxidized. And you can even see the chalk on my hands coming off. So we're gonna do some more work up here. We're probably gonna have to start off with some sanding, then jump into our uh, compounding, polishing, waxing, guys. So stay tuned, guys. It's gonna be fun. You're gonna learn a lot. Let's jump in and let's get to it right now. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I drove here in a snowstorm. It snowed a lot last night, it's still snowing. And we're working on a boat inside in storage. So it's nice and warm in here, 60 degrees. I kind of have access to adjust it where I want, but I think we're gonna keep it around 60, 65 in here. It's gonna be perfect for working on the boat. Now, I brought everything in. You wanna make sure you have everything that you need for the job before you start. You wanna make sure you have extra things. You wanna make sure you bring all, you know, all your tools, cause you never know if something unexpected is gonna happen. So guys, we have everything we got here. We have all our pads, we got wool pads. We have foam pads, foam compounding pads for the uh, DeWalt buffers. We got polishing pads, waxing pads. We got everything, we got sandpaper. Everything that we need for the job is here today. So in case we need it, we will have it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do before we start is we're gonna cover this whole side of the storage unit with plastic. We don't wanna get compound and polishing material all over his eyes and glass. So we wanna be respectful of his place and we wanna cover everything, make sure we keep all his stuff clean. And while doing that, we're gonna make a workplace that's gonna be perfect for us and kind of keep everything, you know, around it closed off and nice and clean. Okay, so we're gonna tape off the bottom paint and the fiberglass. So why we're gonna tape this off is because while we're buffing, we don't wanna pick up anything from the bottom paint and bring it onto the gel coat and really mess it up, really leave a big scratch in it and really do some damage. So we're gonna tape off the fiberglass and the bottom paint so that we don't do that. And also we're gonna, we wanna keep the pad clean. We don't wanna have the pad running in the bottom paint, getting all dirty. So that's two reasons why we do it. And it leaves a nicer finish you can get everything perfectly and you can bring the pad down lower and it'll leave a good finish. All right guys, so today we're gonna be wet sanding the brow of this carver. It's very oxidized, it needs some oxidation removal. If you look up here, it might be hard to see from the camera, but it's very splotchy and cloudy. You know, some spots are better than others. So what I've decided today is we're gonna go with, we're gonna start off with a thousand. You wanna make sure you have wet and dry. Um, Sandpaper, we're gonna start off with a thousand. We're gonna switch over to 15 and then we're gonna end with 2000. That's gonna take out most of the oxidation on the boat. Then we'll run through, we'll do our buffing, polishing, waxing and all that stuff. So guys, we're gonna start with a thousand. Make sure you got soapy water and we're gonna be doing this by hand. So just kind of grab a piece out. This is a Craftsman uh, sandpaper and I picked this up at Lowe's. So you can pretty much get it anywhere. Now you can also use a machine to, to do your sanding, but since it's just kind of a smaller section, I'm gonna do it by hand. So we're gonna rip off our half piece of sandpaper, kind of dip it around in the water. Now, before I get started, I'm gonna go grab a spray bottle because we gotta spray down the surface. Uh, you wanna make sure it's wet. You wanna make sure you got soap on it so that, the, you, know, so that you have your wet sanding, your pad kind of moving easily across the surface. 
You don't want it to be too aggressive. You want it to be easy to slide back and forth. So I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I got the water bottle. Now we're just gonna simply spray down the surface to get it nice and wet. And you guys can see how the water is just like sitting on top of this thing. It's just soaking into the oxidation, right? It's not rolling off, it's not beating off like it should be. So here's our thousand and we're gonna get to it. You'll notice as I'm sanding, I'm going in a circular motion, trying to stimulate a dual action polisher. And now if you guys look at this piece of sandpaper, you can see how it's all, you know, it's basically, it almost looks like mountain away. That's all the oxidation coming out of the boat, so you can tell there's a lot of oxidation that we have to remove before we can start buffing. switch over, get a new piece of sandpaper, and we're gonna finish off the top half. You don't have to worry about, don't sand the uh, vinyl striping, just kind of keep that there. Uh, you know, we'll buff over it, but there's no reason to sand it. You're just going to make scratches in it and you know, you're going to tear it up. So, on to the next round. Let's go. You'll notice as I'm sanding the brow that it's really not that bad. It's just time consuming and it's a lot easier than buffing three to four rounds and it's going to leave a better finish if you just go with the wet sanding. So if you're new or you haven't done this before and you're not comfortable with the machine, do it by hand like I'm doing and it's going to leave a great finish guys. Just take your time and do it the right way and it'll be awesome. All right, round two is complete. Now we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to spray it down and clean it up so we can do our last and final round of 2000. Like I said, since this is a smaller area, we're gonna do it by hand, but you know, if we were to do the whole boat, you know, you're gonna get, it's gonna be tiring. So, you know, you can do it by hand, but I recommend, you know, get a machine, like a, the dual action polisher and throw a pad on there and just get to work on it. Cause it's gonna save you a lot of arm rubbing and you know, it's gonna save your energy. <laughs> But once you get the buffing on there, it's gonna look a lot better. Um, you know, and the thing with the wet sand, you just gotta get all the, when you're buffing and polishing, you gotta get all the scratches out, and you know, then you're gonna be good. It's that simple. You know, I always recommend wet sanding over having to do three or four rounds of buffing. It saves you a lot of time, saves you a lot of energy, and it's gonna look better as well.
All right, on to our last round of 2000. Gonna take this again, rip it in half, and we're gonna get to work. I've been using the same water this whole time. You know, we just put a lot of soap in there. You can use the same water, but it's gonna get dirty. It's gonna get really chalky and, you know, like I said, it looks like kind of like milk a little bit. So last round, we're gonna get to it and we'll go from there. I'll show you guys what it looks like and we'll talk about how we're gonna proceed forward. round of sanding um, now we're gonna go we're gonna spray water we're gonna clean it really good because next we're gonna be buffing it so we want to make sure it's dry ready to go now I know you know I hope this was straightforward if it wasn't you know I see how maybe you could be a little concerned if it was your first time sanding you know basically you know how do you know which grit to start at and where to finish at I can jump into that in another video but that's the sanding process for you so we're gonna clean everything up dry it all up and we're gonna get ready to buff heavy this is one of my favorite heavy cutting compounds to use we have our applicator we have our dewalt buffer and a wool pad now you want to use a wool pad because it's gonna get out a lot of the scratches you know from the uh, wet sanding so always use a uh, wool pad after the wet sanding and then you can work down the line to the foam pad and then waxing so guys we're gonna jump into it we're gonna uh, get our first first pass through here we're gonna see how it turns out. Let's go. When you're ready to start compounding, you just grab your applicator, put a section of compound on the boat, grab your buffer at a low speed, and you just go nice and slow, and make sure you're doing multiple passes and get all the compound off the boat. Apply a good amount of pressure because you're trying to get out those scratches that you created from the wet sanding. Now while you're doing this, make sure you're running the pad, the buffer nice and slow. Let it rip in, let it uh, take out those scratches. So I like to run it around 1,000 to 1,400, kind of in that range of RPMs. Yeah, and just let the pad do the work, move nice and slow, let the pad work in the compound, take out the scratches. Alright guys, so check it out. We have finished the brow almost. We did our three rounds of sanding. We went with 1,000, 15, and 2,000. We did our round of heavy compound and check out how it's looking to this point. I looked at it very closely. There's not many scratches left, so we're super close to finishing this up. It just needs polish and wax. This one's gonna turn out amazing. <laughs> What you just watched was what the brow looked like after I finished buffing. So now me and the crew have moved on to polishing. I'm polishing up the brow. 
I'm polishing up under the windows and basically we have switched from the DeWalt buffer to the Flex which is a forced action polisher. We're using our gray heavy cutting Lake Country foam pads and we're getting out the rest of the scratches that may still be in the fiberglass which there's not many. At this point there's no oxidation left we're just getting the scratches out polishing up the surface so that we're ready to apply our polymer sealant. Unfortunately, I was not able to grab any footage of us actually applying the polymer sealant to the brow But if you stay to the end of the video, you'll get a seat at the end now What we're doing now is I just have footage of Lincoln is waxing with our polymer sealant on the hull of this 32 carver now you got to remember also the wax is not going to change the condition of the fiberglass much It's just gonna shine it up a little bit because you're doing all your heavy work while you're compounding, that is when you bring the boat back to life. And that's a wrap to the video. I hope you liked the video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, be sure to hit the like button. Comment below and I will be sure to answer it as soon as I can. And guys, share it to other people so that other people can see it. And make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification so that every time I release a video, which will be every week, you will get notified. And guys, I will see you on the next one.